when tuning on any instrument, it's really important to use your ears always and to play with the best possible tone. That's going to give you the best shot of playing in tune with an ensemble. These tips and tricks are going to go through how to calibrate your instrument to make that job a little bit easier. The first thing we always have to do whenever we're going to play uh, a note in tune um, or to attempt to tune our instrument is to make sure that we're sitting up, we have great posture, and that when we go to play the instrument, we have a, a great air support. So um, I tell people, take a full, relaxed inhale. Don't think too hard about taking in the most amount of air you've ever taken in, but don't take a wimpy breath either. Okay. Our lungs go all the way up to our collarbones, just the really tiny parts. We have to make sure we don't raise our shoulders, but we do have to make sure we try to fill them up. All right, with me. Next thing is making sure that we have a great noise maker. So on the trumpet, the noise maker is the, the mouthpiece. Now I'm uh I have mixed feelings on mouthpiece buzzing, and your band director may tell you um buzz on the mouthpiece. Your band director may also say, don't worry about buzzing on the mouthpiece. Um there's a lot of schools of thought. But generally, you want to make sure that this thing sounds pretty decent. And for me, I like to be flexible when I move around and I do mouthpiece work. Um, that doesn't mean I'm like trying to buzz every single note in the stratosphere and in the basement, but at least like make a normal noise and, and slide around a little bit. And that's going to be kind of important when we go to tune on the instrument. <clears throat> so what note do we tune to on trumpet? Well, on trumpet, you can tune to a G or a C, um, high C. I don't like tuning to a low C because it's too manipulatable. You can use your ears and your mouth and really adjust things um, in a big way down, down in that bottom C area. So instead, I like to go to G or C. We're going to do G for today. It's slightly sharp compared to everything else, um, but it's only like by a couple cents, and it's not going to make that big a deal. So G is the note we're going for. It sounds like this. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pull up the thing that you've been learning how to learn into what wanting to learn how to use, which is the tuner. So when you pull up your tuner, whatever kind you use, it's going to show you um, a dial. The middle of the dial is perfect on center. Uh, to the right is sharp and to the left is flat. OK, memorize that real quick. Middle is the goal. To the right is sharp. To the left is flat. We want to aim. For the middle. So what I do, and this is what most pro musicians do, is we don't sit there and look at the tuner um, and hope uh, to the good Lord that we like hit it right on the nose um, first time out. We actually just play with our best possible tone with our eyes closed or not looking at the tuner, and then we'll do it a few times, make sure our face feels good and the note sounds right, and then we'll take a peek at the tuner. And um, if it's really off, we'll probably you know take a break for a second, come back, try it again. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So I'm not looking at the tuner. To me, that feels a little high in the pitch, like it feels high. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lower my jaw. I'm going to relax my face a little bit. Also important not to be like static on your instrument. If you if you're feeling like like you're tuning one note, and that one note is the only note that matters. Um, you may be playing too tight or too loose in the pitch with your embouchure. Make sure you move it around a little bit. I like to play scales and warm up a little before I tune. All right. So now I'm going to take a look at the tuner with that. Um, what I feel like is a good setup for today. So as you can see, the dial is one full click under. That's a, I think that's these are in five cent intervals, um, or ten cents. So I'm I'm about ten cents flat. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm not gonna think about uh, manipulating the pitch upwards. I'm just gonna play with a great sound. And I still feel like I'm 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 low in the pitch. So what I'm gonna do. 
um, whenever we're dealing with instruments, uh, sharp means that our instrument is uh, too short. We need to make it longer. Short, sharp. Kind of start with the same letters. Flat um, being uh, too long and making it, we need to make it shorter. So in this case, I'm flat. We need to make it, um, make the instrument smaller. I moved it. I moved it from about right there to about right there. Still looks like I'm a little bit under on the G. And if this note is naturally sharp on our instruments, then we want to make sure we definitely hit the middle. I'm going to pull back out just a smidge because I feel like the temperature in my room is a little warm. It's another thing that affects pitch a lot is um, the temperature of whatever room you're in. Um, I've got a computer in here. My doors are shut. I've got lights on. It's kind of warm. It's probably above um, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's going to make a difference. Um, so make sure you're always checking your temperatures. Make sure you, when you tune, you're in the same room you're going to perform in or record in. All right. Um, so that is how we use a tuner. Um, I'll kind of show you some. Um, kind of weird, weird instances. Like this is how far my tuning slide is out. If I'm like uh, <laughs> on a marching band field and it's super hot outside, I'll have it pulled out super duper far. You'll notice that the note on the tuner changed from an F to an E. It's because I'm so flat now that um, I'm playing a half step low as a sharp note. Um, I'm now going to push in all the way. This is like, if we were outside our marching band field, but instead of it being in the summer, it's like November and it's um, 32 degrees Fahrenheit or something. Hopefully you never have to do that, <laughs> but it happens. Now, look, I'm like over 15 cents sharp. So anyway, um, the tuning slide is important. It's helpful, um, but it's just to get a ballpark. All of our notes on our instruments need to be carefully tuned with our ears and our face. And that's a different topic. So hope this helped and uh, good luck in your tuning endeavors. Bye for now.